The Yiga Clan Armor Set is a three-piece armor set in Tears of the Kingdom that boosts Link's stealth up dramatically at the cost of lower overall armor given that it's made from light materials. While the mask and tights can be easily found in Hyrule near the start of the game, the chest armor requires you to trek to the very edge of the map. Here's exactly where to find all three pieces of the Yiga armor. Let's begin with the two easy ones. First up is the mask. To get it, you'll need to head to Link's original stomping grounds in Breath of the Wild, the Great Plateau. To get there, head south from Lake Kalamo, approach the gatepost town ruins, and skin the edge of the wall until you find a large pile of rubble with water bursting from the cracks. Use a bomb flower to destroy the rubble, which will cause a reservoir to drain, allowing you to enter the Great Plateau. From here, run south until you find a Yiga clan hideout surrounded by spikes. They seem to have taken refuge in the old man's cabin from Breath of the Wild. There's a rock ledge on the north side that's just high enough to jump over the spike wall, or you could just chop down a nearby tree and make yourself a bridge. Once you're within the walls, knock on the door and you'll be ambushed by two Yiga clan members who you'll then have to fight. You'll have to fight these guys for each piece of gear, and the fights always play out the same. Basically, use Puff Shrooms. You can fight them normally, but using Puff Shrooms on your weapon or shield completely stuns them, allowing you to take them down incredibly easy. If you don't have a Puff Shroom, well then fight them as you normally would. Watch for the glowing spots where they teleport to and ambush them when they reappear. We'd recommend taking down the bigger guy first, as he does a lot of AoE attacks, and when he starts sending a fissure towards you, use the updraft to pair glide up and pull out your bow for some quick shots, and then take out the little guy. Once done, head inside the house where you'll see they've been keeping a fashion NPC hostage and the NPC will hand over the mask. Next up is the tights. The tights will be in a cave just west of the Great Hyrule Forest at the southern base of Mount Drenna. If you've discovered the Kiyoyu Shrine on the way to Rito Village, then you could just teleport there and head straight east. As you travel, you'll start to see the rocks in sets of three, indicating that the Yiga hideout is nearby, and along a slope, you'll see a cave. Run in and dispatch of the same two Yiga clan members you fought before. When finished, you can enter the cave to the left, which has the Yiga clan journal that gives you a clue as to where to find the tights. The clue reads, remember, follow the eyes of the frogs. Return to the starting chamber where you fought the clan members and look for a set of square rock tablets on the ground just behind the main altar. The tablets will be in a big square formation and you'll notice that they have the frog eyes that we're looking for. From here, turn on your ascend ability and use it to climb up through the hole in the roof. The Yigatites and the kidnapped tailor will be in that room. <laughs> Finally, the most time-consuming part of the entire set is the chest piece, as it requires you to trek to the entire northeastern edge of the game map. If you have the Ulri Mountain Skyview Tower unlocked, you can blast from there. But if not, you're in for a hike. The location you're after is the Akala Ancient Tech Lab, and you'll no doubt find some trouble along the way. If you'd like to find your way there more organically, the Depths questline that eventually leads to the Purapad upgrades will have you traveling to the Akala Ancient Tech Lab anyways, as it's where Robbie has stored the Travel Medallion prototype. Either way, once you've arrived, you'll be ambushed by the Yiga Clan members for the final time. Take them out and then run in to find the chest armor and the kidnapped tailor. And again, if you're there for the travel medallion prototype, it can also be found in the chest at the back of the room. And that's it, you now have all three pieces of the Yiga armor set. And as we previously mentioned, this set will increase Link's stealth, giving him quieter footsteps at the cost of much lower armor than what's found in other gear sets. This armor set also stops you from being ambushed by other Yiga assassins you meet on the road and is needed to complete the side venture titled Infiltrating the Yiga Clan back at their hideout north of Gerudo Town. For more on Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, be sure to head on over to IGN.com to check out our growing Tears of the Kingdom wiki and interactive map. And for much, much more on Zelda, stick with IGN.